With interior angles, what we're looking at are the angles that are inside a polygon. So a triangle has three interior angles. And what we need to know about that is that it doesn't matter what the triangle looks like, the three angles add up exactly to 180 degrees. Same thing with the square or a quadrilateral. The four interior angles have to add up to 360 degrees. It doesn't matter how funky this shape looks. If it's got four sides, and they're all connected, and they're all straight lines, it's going to be 360 degree angle sum of the interior angles. Pentagon has five interior angles, and if you add them up, you get 540 degrees. A hexagon has six interior angles, which add up to 720 degrees. A seven-sided shape, a septagon, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven interior angles, adds up to 900 degrees every time. And then an octagon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight interior angles, which always add up to 1,080, or typically stated 1080 degrees. Now, um, let's look at the names of these polygons. These are the interior angles of polygons. I said the names, but let's write them down. First we have a triangle. And the reason it's called a triangle, tri for three interior angles and sides. A quadrilateral quadrilateral, sorry, has quad or four sides and interior angles. Five is pent or pentagon. Six sides hex, hexagon, or six sides, septagon, or seven sides, and octagon, four, eight sides. So the names do have meaning. What we're asking you to do is to look at a pattern that occurs between the number of sides of a polygon and the interior angle sum. So to figure this out, I just made a little table. In one column we have the number of sides in each polygon, and in the other column we have this, the measure of the angles, uh, interior angle sum, what they have to add up to. Let's look at the pattern. Um, for a situation like this, I like to look at the difference between the angle sums and see if I can find any pattern. And what I found was that you are going up 180 degrees every time you add a side of to a polygon. So if you have three sides, you have 180 degrees. But then when you add one side, you have 360 degrees, which is 180 more than 180. When you have another side, you have 540 degrees, which is again 180 degrees bigger than 360. And this continues. So before we talked about using this difference to establish a pattern that's happening here, well, I start at 180 degrees. For my polygons, that's my lowest measurement. And then each time, I'm adding 180. So what I thought was that, um, how many 180s do we add each time? For four, we add one 180. For five, we add two 180s. For six sides, we add one, two, three 180s to get 720. For seven sides, we add one, two, three, four 180s to get 900s. Whew, and for eight, we get one, two, three, four, five, one eighties. Let me write those numbers down. So this is the amount of one eighties added each time we go up. Well, there are no one eighties added to three, right? It's just uh, 180 degrees. But then we add one one eighty, and we get 360. Then we add two 180s and three and four and five and I'm glad I'm not going any further because it's so hard, so hard to say it. So what do we do? We start with 180 and then we add one 180. So we're adding 180 each time. Well, what I can put in here, and this is just my way of thinking about it, there are many other ways of looking at it, is that um, we're taking, if you look at the difference between this number and here, it's always three less than this number. Two is three less than five, three is three less than six. So, if I wanted, if I had a question like, what's the interior angle sum of a 1,000 sided polygon? I'm not gonna build up this chart. I wanna be able to plug in the number of sides into this equation and then get my answer. So, 
I know that I should be plugging in a number of sides and then taking three away. And that's how many 180s I add. So I'm going to say n, the number of sides, minus 3 times 180. So for example, with four sides, I added, well, 4 minus 3, which is 1, or 1 180 to 180. For five sides, I added, well, two 180s. And that makes sense because 5 minus 3 is 2. And that's two 180s are added to 180. So this pattern works. So what about if n equals 1,000 degrees? What will happen? Well, we know that we have 180 degrees to start with. And then we have to add 997 times 180. So because every time we go up one step, we're adding 180 degrees. So we're doing this 997 times. Right? We're going up over and over and over again and multiply these two numbers and add it to 180 to get our result. So when we multiply this, we get 179,460. Add them up, get 179,640. And that's the total number of degrees in a thousand degree, poly a thousand sided polygon. So you can use this pattern and others that you discover to find out the interior angle sum for a polygon with any number of sides.